return. Exactly. Man, go watch it. We have a return. <laughs> Greetings, people. This one is for the ancestors. You know, we need the strength in this time. So, this is what we have been doing all the time. We must continue to deal with our culture and pay respect to that which came before us and move forward into the future. So, tonight is the first one of many. What we're saying is, at nine o'clock, every Sunday, wherever we are, wherever we're doing, we must remember those who came before us. So this is for the ancestors, nine o'clock, every Sunday, we will be here at the village, pay respects to our ancestors, those who came before us. Because we cannot move forward into the future without keeping this alive. This is what has got us this far and will move us into the future. So we call our nation, we say, Asheel, Asheel, we give thanks to the Most High and the ancestors, all those that came before us. And we call for guidance in these challenging times. But we must also welcome change that is coming because we need change we've been fighting for change we need change yeah so in the reasoning about when are things going to go back to normal we're saying there is no normal there was no normal there's only change change is the only constant as we move into that change we must get a better change for for, for our community our environment and the world that we live in so we want, we, this is calling our ancestors for the future. That cannot be the same. That cannot be what we know as normal. Yeah? That normal can no longer be normal. So we call on our ancestors to move forward in this time. So we're asking that at 9 o'clock every Sunday, we come together wherever we are. That means you don't have to be online. What we're trying to do now also is develop beyond the social media. You know, how we used to communicate before there was mobile phones, before there was television, before there was any of this stuff that we are now dependent on. When the social media gets cut off, then it will be another problem. We must learn how to re-communicate now and learn how to be able to correspond and work with each other without this technology. While the technology is on, let's have this conversation and let's start off by tuning in with each other spiritually, telepathically, and develop the parts of ourselves that we know are part of our, our core that we have forgotten, that we need to bring back. Let's start to develop that now, so no matter whatever, whatever happens in the future, yeah, we have to develop the tools we need to move forward. If you agree, say Asheo. 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 All right. So, people, 9 o'clock every Sunday, let's remember our ancestors. Envision the, the future that we want, not what is being forced upon us. Let's, let's create, because we are the creators. We can create the, the future that we want. So let's do that. Every 9 o'clock on a Sunday, wherever you are, stop, take a minute for your ancestors. Remember those who came before us. Remember those that have recently passed. Remember those who... When we remember them, their energy is with us. Yeah, never forget that. We must stand in our power. So we do this for the ancestors, for those who come before us. Also for those who are facing their challenges now. Yeah? And for the good health and, and, and the good mental health and strength, spiritual mind and body of our community. Yeah? The drum song is very important. The sound of the drum is very important. The rhythm of our heartbeat is vitally important for our health and well-being. Mm -hmm. So we consider this essential work. Speak drums, tell a real story. We got, we got, hello everybody. My name is Demba. Very, very, I'm very, very, very thankful to be here and share this amazing, amazing. I'm not gonna say news, but I'm gonna say pray. 
when we pray, we have to put our, our heart together. If we want what we pray to happen, we have to put our hands and our heart and our body and our soul together to pray for one thing. Nowadays, a lot of things are going in the world. But what we're gonna what we're gonna say about it is we've been seeing a lot before. It's not the first thing we've been seeing. But then we've been holding to our ancestor drums and our ancestor dance, our ancestors singing, our ancestors saying. They always give us one advice, which is don't give up. Don't give up to yourself, don't give up to people, don't give up to connect with people. Which is, we have to connect no matter what happens. If we're connecting online as life, we're supposed to feel that's real in our heart. And to be honest, it's going to be real. The connection is inside us. We hear, we, we see each other from the phone or not. We always have the hearts together which is very powerful. The, the phone will, will help us, the technology will help us a lot in so many ways, as we use it in a positive way, which is together and keep the connection going. My, one of my ancestors used to say, because there are so many of them and they have so many say, is please don't don't get to, to God things. They have been always saying that. Don't get to God's business. I think that's the English I want to say. Yeah. Don't get to God's business. That means don't try to think like God. Because we cannot think like Him. And, and nowadays with these various, what I see happen is some people go too far. And now we all have to, have to accept and say, okay, now we understand. But now, who is controlling is only God who is controlling. We pray, to be, we pray for, to, to, so God can help us. We pray so God can take the coronavirus away. We pray for ancestors. We pray for those who pass away. We feel sorry for them also. And we're going to give them a big, a big pray so they can go straight away in paradise. Those who pass away, all their family, we give us our big, big condolences. Ashe. Yes, family. It's vitally important, the transition period, you know, it's vitally important that we find ways to connect the things that, the dots that are being the things that are being disconnected, we need to find a way to connect them. And if we can't do it physically, then we have to do it spiritually. And we need to do it now. Because we can't rely on technology. That's what we're saying. I was working with Baba Ade on a project called the Blackout Project, No Elections. This was based upon the fact of the roots and the, the strength of our tradition is that when the electric goes off, what do you do then? There's certain things that we do, we can't do without the electric, but we ourselves are electric. We are the original electric. Exactly. Yeah? So these are the things we need to start becoming the norm as our own knowledge of self, because right now the people lack the knowledge of self. That's why we are confused as to what's going on. Yeah? So we're not going to go into that too deep right now. Mm -hmm. But what I will say is, just look at the issues that's going on now and uh, look, look at it through a conflict of interest. Don't argue all these polarizing arguments because exactly. there's a lot of things going on at the same time. Exactly. And you can argue about all of them. Yeah? Look at it through the lens of conflicts of interest alone. Mm -hmm. And let's take it from there. But in the meantime, let's continue to call our ancestors because as my brother Denver said, how did we get here? How did we survive everything that we've survived to be here today? Exactly. Listen to the story the drums tell. Jump Rastafari.